shooting at a firing range. Individual firing ranges may vary in rules and procedures, but all have a clearly designated firing line. Many have a ceasefire line. And all have a downrange area, which is where targets are positioned. The safest available muzzle direction from the firing line is toward the downrange area. Some ranges require that each person sign in upon arrival. Before entering a firing range, you must equip yourself with proper safety gear. Protection for your eyes and ears is an essential part of range safety. Glasses with side shields provide more security than those without. Check the status of the firing line and enter only when it is safe to do so. Whenever a range is in use, someone must be named as the range officer. Upon approval of the range officer, Firearms may be brought onto the range and taken to the firing point on the firing line. At this range, a red flag means caution. The range is active. Check the rules of the range you use. Firearms may only be loaded at the firing line. Prepare the firing point and when ready, request that a ceasefire be called. In an emergency, anyone can call a ceasefire and must be obeyed by everyone at the range. The range officer will call a ceasefire. At the ceasefire command, all firing stops at once. Firearms are proved safe, actions are left open, and all firearms are laid on the mat or table immediately in front of each shooter. Their muzzles point in a safe direction downrange. Move back from the firing line and behind the ceasefire line. The range officer inspects each firearm to ensure that each action is open and that all ammunition has been removed. Once satisfied, the range officer will exchange the red flag with a green flag to indicate that the range is inactive. The range is clear, you may go forward. At this point, shooters may proceed downrange to change targets. A verbal command to this effect is provided by the range officer. Persons not engaged in changing targets downrange should be well behind the ceasefire line. During a ceasefire, firearms may not be handled under any circumstances. Some ranges have equipment that changes targets automatically. However, most require that you move down range to set up targets. When the down range area is clear, the range officer will change to the red flag and call the range active. Only then may the firing line be approached and firing begin. The range is active. There are several safe stances from which one may shoot a firearm. The kneeling position is one example. Remember to check that the correct ammunition is being used. This bolt action rifle can be used as a single shot by loading one cartridge at a time or the magazine can be charged with additional cartridges and fired. Once you are comfortable and ready to fire, move the safety to the firing position and align your sights on the target. Safe Handling of Firearms Outdoors Although wearing blaze orange is not required in some parts of Canada, hunters can wear blaze orange jackets, hats, vests, and other clothing items to make them more visible in these hunting areas. This is recommended for safety.
This lockable container stores ammunition safely during transport. Field glasses are used to qualify targets in the field. Never use telescopic sights mounted on firearms for this purpose. Be sure of your target and beyond. As in all shooting sports, safety glasses, even outdoors, is a recommended safety practice. Follow the vital four acts. Assume every firearm is loaded. Control the muzzle direction at all times. The trigger finger must be kept off the trigger and out of the trigger guard. See that the firearm is unloaded. Prove it's safe. Check that only the correct ammunition is to be used for the firearm. Be sure that any leftover ammunition is not contained in any pockets from a previous hunting trip. This hunter is putting a carrying strap on his rifle to allow him to use the sling carry in the field. This allows his hands to be free as he moves throughout the hunting area. The sling carry is one safe way to carry a firearm when there is no cartridge in the chamber. While you are away shooting, be sure to lock the doors if additional ammunition or firearms are in the vehicle. When outdoors, numerous obstacles may be encountered, such as streams, branches, fences, and the like. Each and every obstacle must be crossed safely. To do so, make sure that the firearm is unloaded. This hunter uses his backpack to keep the firearm's muzzle off the snow, helping to ensure no snow or debris enters the barrel. Point the muzzle in the safest available direction, then lay the firearm down. Cross the obstacle some distance away from the firearm with the muzzle pointing away from you. When safely over, pick up the firearm. Prove the firearm safe. Be sure that the safety is on and your finger is away from the trigger and out of the trigger guard. shooting or hunting with a group. Safety conscious hunters bring ammunition locked in a separate case, going the extra step to exceed the requirements of the regulations and safe firearm practices. Transporting firearms in locked cases is also recommended. These hunters pay strict attention to the vital four acts and prove a firearm safe immediately upon handling the firearm. Each firearm is checked at every opportunity. Crossing fences and other obstacles safely when in a hunting group means proving that the firearms are unloaded prior to passing the firearm to another while the obstacle is crossed. Every person holding a firearm stands well away from the obstacle while someone is crossing. A safety conscious person will never offer or receive a firearm unless it is unloaded and the action is open. Each hunter is using a carry that illustrates how to hold the firearm with the muzzle pointing in a safe direction. The cradle carry, the elbow carry, and the two hand or ready carry. Immediately prior to entering the blind and only if absolutely necessary should blaze orange be removed. With more than one hunter, you must take the time to decide safe zones of fire. Each hunter clearly indicates his zone of fire. Before loading, obey the vital four acts and prove the firearm safe. Check that the correct ammunition is being used. Now that the hunters are actively hunting, they are ready to load their firearms. Always follow the vital four acts and the principles of prove in the safe use of firearms. <laughs>